All right, we're on. Okay, so we're gonna have, we're gonna have you read Fishing Smarts. It's a nonfiction book, and it's a book that's all about fishing. And I want you to read to find out what you need to know to go on a fishing expedition. If you've ever seen someone fishing, you may thought it looked like fun and effortless, but many things of fishing are complicated than it appears. Is more complicated. Getting started. So what you need to do, what you need for a well-equipped fishing expe expedition. Expedition. First, start with the tackle. The tackle is the fishing rod and the reel. The rod or fishing pole should be about as long as you are tall. Your reel is a spool that holds the fishing line. You also need terminal tackle. That is what the professionals call it. Term terminal? Terminal tackle consists of hooks and sinkers for the end of your line. The hook holds your bait. Whatever you use to attract fish, the sinker is a small weight that pulls your hook into the water. So if it if it doesn't flow on the surface, you go fishing in a lake. You might want some colorful bob bobbers. Bobbers are the little balls tied at the end, tied to the line about two or three feet above the hook and sinker. If you blob, blob bobber is blob bobbing. It means that a fish is nibbling on your line. If you are fishing in a stream, you'll need to watch. You need wadding boots and a net. For deep sea fishing, you need a sturdy boat. The most important item is the bait. Worms are the top choice because they attract most any fish. And another favorite bait is minnows, small fish used to catch larger fish. All right, so see that this is blacked out. I want you to read the rest of it silently, and then I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Okay, so I'm going to ask the questions. Can you talk a little bit about what you learned what you learned in this book? Um, I didn't know how to fish, and now I know how to fish. Okay. Um, well, what kinds of equipment and supplies do you need for a good fishing trip? Um, your hook, your bait, your tackle, mm -hmm. a boat. And if you're swimming, if you're going in a... In a river, then you're gonna need some different some little something boots. I forget what they're called. Some boots. And um, the wading boots. Wading boots, yeah. Wading, like wait, like in the water, you're wading oh, in the water. Uh -huh. No problem. And if you're going fishing in deep sea, then you're gonna need a boat. Good. Can you talk about what casting means? Fish in the water. Okay. Fish That's okay. What are your choices once you have caught a fish? You can either release it or you can eat it. Good. Good. Um, look on the drawing on page two. <laughs> what kind of information do you find there? Um, what the rod is, the reel, the line. Good. Why is fishing complicated? Because you need 
so much stuff. You have so much stuff. Any other reasons why you think it might be complicated? Mm. No? Well, because you have... It's hard to, like, put a rod. It's so complicated to just set your whole thing up. That makes sense. Can you tell why people might catch and release the fish instead of keeping them? Because they want the fish to be free. Because maybe they want the fish to be free. Any other reason you might think? They feel bad for the fish. They feel bad for the fish. Well, if they're fishing, then... I just want to see what the fish look like. Oh, okay. Why is Fishing Smarts a good title for this book? Because it gives you all the information you need to know about fishing. Good. Any other reason? Okay, why did the author discuss fishing superstitions like bananas being bad luck? Do you know what a superstition is? No. Okay. So I want to show you this glossary in the back. And a superstition is a belief that a particular action brings good or bad luck. So for instance, um, like I know that um, like sometimes athletes, like they will wear the same pair of underwear. Um, or the same the same T-shirt, or you know, every single time they have a game. That's gross. It is gross, but it's because they feel like it's super. Like if they won wearing it the first time, then maybe if they continue to wear it. So that's kind of what superstitious means. So why did the author discuss fishing superstitions like bananas being bad luck? All right. Any idea? <laughs> <laughs> Something. No? Okay. Well, you did a super job, kiddo. Oh, wait. What? what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you goofball.